rejoicing it will be for you, your household, your family, and everything that concerned you. We are happy to be on air once again this Friday night for the hour of solution. We want to bless the name of God for what God has been doing the manifestation of his power, the manifestation of his mercy. I want to thank God in advance for what he's going to do for you today, what he's going to do this night during this hour of solution. And I want you to know there is a solution for every problem. There's a solution for every life challenges and this night is going to be a night of mercy it's going to be a night of great deliverance this night is going to live up to its purpose and the purpose of this program of this prayer program called the hour of solution is so that men will come out of their challenges so that God will manifest his power in any area of your life that you are having challenges. And I want to assure you, this night will be a wonderful night. To be a night of deliverance. It will be a night of open heavens. It will be a night to remember. Go and mark it down. This night is going to be a night to remember. And I want to assure you, anywhere you are watching this live program, some are connected to this live program from their churches. Some are connected to this live program from their home. Some from their offices. Anywhere you are watching this live program called the Hour of Solution. A prayer-based program I want to assure you that the power of God will visit you this night in the name of Jesus you are going to see what the Spirit of God will do you are going to see what the Holy Ghost will do and get ready because this night I am very sure there will be a turnaround in your situation in the name of Jesus remember it's a prayer-based program so you must be ready to pray. And this night, fact, what I'm speaking to us before we pray is something that has to do with prayer. And when it is time to pray, anywhere you are, you quit yourself like men and pray. Because prayer is the solution to any life challenge. And this night, I am certain that there will be a solution for you. Everything that you have lost in the name of Jesus. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this hour. I want to thank you for this night. This great night. This night of mercy. This night of redemption. Father, I want to thank you for the great things you have done through this medium, the hour of solution. Thank you for the manifestation of your great power. Thank you for the manifestation of the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you for answers to prayers. Thank you for the great deliverances you have wrought in the life of viewers around the globe, from different parts of the globe. Thank you, Father, for the great answers to prayers. We bless your name. We also want to thank you for what you are going to do tonight. We want to appreciate you because this night, the floodgates of heaven will be opened. We want to thank you, Father, because this night, you are going to touch the life of men. Those that are hurting, those that are sorrowful, those that are downcast in the spirit, those that are emotionally down as a result of the life challenges, the tough life challenges they are passing through. 
Lord, I want to thank you because this night you will deliver such people in the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to pray that this night you will give your servant divine utterance. You will give your servant divine utterances. Lord, you will touch as many that are viewing this program, as many that have life's challenges, as many that are under captivity, under bondage, as many that are sick, as many that are having life's challenges. Lord, in this night program, Lord, I pray and I ask that the power of God will be made manifest. Every yoke will be broken. Every sick person will be healed. The oppressed will be set free. This night I decree those that are frustrated, frustrated by the enemy, frustrated by life's challenges, I pray that this night, O oh God, your power will intervene in their lives. And every yoke of frustration will be broken this night. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this night the heavens will open. The power of God will descend. The Spirit of the Lord will descend. The anointing that breaks every yoke. The anointing that brings a bad solution to every problem. I decree that this night you will release such an anointing in the name of Jesus. I exercise authority over every powers, powers of darkness, powers of the wicked one that want to disturb this life program. I come as a servant of God. I call such powers in the name of Jesus. Every gathering, gathering of the wicked one against this program so that the Lord will not be able to move, so that the captive will not be free. Lord, I decree that in Lord, such gathering, you will arise. You will scatter such gathering this night in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. Thank you, Lord, because you are going to do great things this night. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Once again, I welcome uh, every one of us around the globe to this hour of solution. And each time we come on air like this, I am very excited as a servant of God because it is an opportunity for God to divinely intervene in the life of man. And this night, the power of God is going to come down mightily. This night is a night to remember. It's a night that will change situation. And this night, I mean this night, this day, you will see, you will experience, you will receive the raw power of God in the name of Jesus. The Lord told me, while I was preparing for this program, that he is going to visit us mightily this night. And I know when the Lord speaks like that, he's a faithful God that keeps to his word. And I'm assured in my spirit that this night will be a very powerful night. And like as I've said, there is no challenge of life there is no problem of life that doesn't have a solution. And if anybody have told you that this your challenge, this your situation doesn't have a solution, I want to tell you that this night, the God of solution will bring about solution to every challenge you are having in Jesus' name. And I want you, as usual, I want you to be focused. Very soon, we get into the word of the Lord. We see what the Lord has for us from his word that always form the basis of our prayers. And then we really get into the time of praying. This night, the kingdom of darkness is in trouble, yes. This night, the powers of the enemy, they are in trouble. This night is a night of deliverance. It's a night of recovery. It's a night of healing. 
In fact, this night I want to tell you, it's a night of mercy. The Lord will show you mercy this night. That person that is, you are in a very deep pit. I want to tell you, this night, the Lord will show you mercy. The power of God will bring you out of that pit, out of, out of that pit of trouble. The power of God will be made manifest in the name of Jesus. And this night, I want to tell you, it's a night of joy. I have good news for you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And the Lord has sent, sent us to heal the sick and the brokenhearted. To set free the captive. To proclaim freedom for the captive. And to set at liberty those that are oppressed. And that's what is going to happen this night. If you are sick, the Lord will heal you this night. If you are heartbroken, the power of God will come down this night. And that problem that has made you to be downcast, frustrated, emotionally down, this night the Lord will encourage you in the name of Jesus. And if you are oppressed, oppressed by the powers of darkness, oppressed by the enemy, this night the Lord has sent us to you to proclaim liberty to those that are oppressed, to those that are under satanic oppression. And this night, the Lord will deliver as many that are under oppression in the name of Jesus. And once again, I welcome you to this powerful program called the Hour of Solution, a prayer-based program. And this night, you will see the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. That's a mighty God that has never surrendered his authority. And that God knows what you are passing through. God knows your name. God knows what you are battling with. God knows what you are passing through. And this night, that God is coming down in his power, in his glory, to deliver you and give you respite in the name of Jesus. This night, before we pray, I'll be speaking to us on the topic, the weapon of prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a powerful message this night. The weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer. It's a very powerful weapon. It's a weapon that changes situation. Is a weapon that turns around any negativity in your life. The weapon of prayer. That's what I'm speaking to us this night, this day, before we pray. And with the weapon of prayer, there is no situation that cannot be changed. Through the weapon of prayer, by the weapon of prayer, there's no enemy that cannot be overthrown from your life. By the weapon of prayer, there is no situation that cannot be changed. And I'm confident that this night, that weapon of prayer will bring down the power of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. I know that God has been doing great things through, through this program. Some people have been calling us and say, Pastor, can't you be having this program two times or thrice a week? Because God, we are enjoying the program, and God is doing great things through this program. We know that God is doing great things through this program. And this night, He is going to do greater things in your life in the name of Jesus. Remember, I'm speaking to us on the topic, the weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer. Our text is taken from the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 32. We we'll read from verse 24 to 28. Genesis chapter 32, from verse 24 to 28. If you have a copy of the Bible there with you, please, you open and read, read along with me. Genesis chapter 32, from verse 24 to 28. And Jacob was left alone. 
and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw, when the man saw that he prevailed not against him, he prevailed not against Jacob, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go for the day break it. And he said, And Jacob said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. That's determination. Jacob refused to take no for an answer. Jacob was determined to have his situation changed through the weapon of prayer. Let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And viewers that are watching us this night, this day, that should be that that must be your determination. God, this night I will not let you go until you come down and visit my situation. During this hour of solution, God, I will not let you go. You do like Jacob. You lay hold on, on, on God in prayer. You lay hold on God. You lay hold on the weapon of prayer. And you say, God, I will not let you go until you fight this battle for me. No wonder Jacob was able to overcome because he was consistent. He persevered in prayer. There was perseverance from Jacob. And this night, the Lord will want you to persevere in prayers. Victory is possible for you if you can persevere in prayers this night. That wicked one that has been troubling your life, troubling your family, disturbing your peace, that wicked one will be overthrown from your life. If you can persevere in prayer like Jacob. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall no more be, shall no more. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, a prevailer an overcomer, but Israel, for as a prince, has that power with God and with men, and has prevailed. Hallelujah. This night, your name will no longer be called a failure. That reminds me the other day somebody was telling me, Pastor, my second name now is a failure. People are making mockery of me. They said I never succeed in anything. And I want to tell you, maybe you are, you are in such a category, and people are calling you failure, incomplete man, a man that can never succeed. And people are calling you sickler. And people are calling you all kinds of names. I want to tell you, that this night, as the Lord changed the name of Jacob at the place of prayer, as the Lord changed the situation of Jacob through the weapon of prayer, I want to tell you that this night, your name will be changed. Your situation will be changed. They'll be calling you a man under captivity, a failure. A man that can never do well. As the Lord changed the situation of Jacob as a result of the weapon of prayer, I want to assure you this night, your name will be changed. Your situation will be changed. Your health condition will be changed. Remember, I'm speaking to us this night on the weapon of prayer. 
And I want to tell us, down the ages, the weapon of prayer has always been a decisive weapon to change any unfavorable situation. Because the weapon of prayer is mighty. It has always changed any unfavorable situation. And the time of life's challenges, it's a time to pray. Do you know that you can change any negativity in your life through the weapon of prayer? The weapon of prayer is a formidable and dependable weapon that destroys strongholds and wicked activities of the enemy against your life. That's how powerful the weapon of prayer is. It can destroy strongholds. It can destroy satanic activities against your life. And this night, we are going to use the weapon of prayer. We are going to use the weapon of prayer to change your life situation. Is there sorrow anywhere? Is there sickness anywhere? Is there troubles anywhere? Is there captivity anywhere? Is there frustration anywhere? Then, you have to make use of the weapon of prayer this night. It's a mighty weapon. It's a very powerful weapon. It's a weapon that doesn't fail. And that's why I talk so much about prayers. Because when every other thing fails, the mighty weapon of prayer can never fail. Men can fail. Ideology could fail. Human wisdom could fail. But you see the weapon of prayer, it can never fail. It has never failed. And I, it will never fail. That reminds me, years back, what happened to one of my spiritual fathers and mentor? A mighty man of God, a powerful man of God. He's a great counselor. In fact, he's one of the great revelation of men of God of this our generation. And he happens to be my father in the Lord and my mentor. Years back, as he told me, he was faced with a, a very serious and hopeless situation. His son was, uh, was faced with heart challenge. And anything that has to do with a, a heart problem, a heart challenge, is really a bad problem. And when they visited the doctor, the doctor did all the necessary tests, all the necessary scan. And the result wasn't palatable at all. In fact, the doctor said, nothing can be done. Man, go back home with your, with your son. And within a couple of days, he's going to die. I could still remember with what my mentor told me. He said the wife was just crying and wailing. The heart of a mother who had been told that this your son cannot survive. He has few moments to live. The woman was crying. They were willing. And when this man of God got home, my mentor, when he got home, he said he just drank a cup of beverage to relax his system and go to sleep. So that when he wakes up, he can lay hold on God through the weapon of prayer. And that was what happened. Immediately he woke up. He said he carried the child and began to and began to make use of the weapon of prayer. He began to pray. He began to pray. He began to pray. I told us when every other thing fails, when medical science fails, when human ideology fails, when men fails. When chariot fails, when horses fails, 
The weapon of prayer can never fail. The weapon of prayer remains the, the best option. And that's how this my mentor began to pray, began to pray, began to pray, began to make use of the weapon of prayer. Before you know it, the, the child that they've written off, that he said, no way, you are going, you will die before you know it. The power that is released through the weapon of prayer, before you know it, the spirit of the Lord that is activated through the weapon of prayer came upon his son. And that was how the, the son that was, uh, that was that had had problem, that was how the Lord healed him. And as I'm speaking to you, the, that that his son is a full grown man. That's what the weapon of prayer will do this night. And irrespective of whatever is your problem, you have been held down somewhere, you have been locked up somewhere. There is troubles in your life. The night is dark and dreary for you. Your situation seems hopeless. This night we are going to make use of the weapon of prayer and anywhere you are viewing us anywhere you are watching us watching this live program the hour of solution this night the weapon of prayer is the solution the weapon of prayer is your victory the weapon of prayer is the answer to that life challenge you are having and this night we are going to pray prayers the Bible says, a man began to pray. A time of life's challenges is a time to pray. And like as I told us, there is no problem that doesn't have a solution. There is no challenges you are passing through that doesn't have a solution. Every problem, every challenge, every sickness has a solution. And this night, the power and the weapon of prayer will bring about solution in your life in Jesus' name. I want you to pray. I want you to pray this night. Very soon, I'm going to release us. Because I myself, I'm already in the mood. I am, I am fired up where I am now. I am fired up. And I want to begin to discharge. I want to begin to release. I want to begin to release. Yes, I see gates opened. And this night, men will be released. This night, those under, under oppression will be released. This night, I, I, I don't care. I don't care how big your mountain is. I have that inner weakness in me that this night, the weapon of prayer will do wonders. The weapon of prayer will turn around your situation. The weapon of prayer will heal you. The weapon of prayer will break your chains. The weapon of prayer will bring solution to that seemingly hopeless situation in your life. The weapon of prayer will deliver you. The weapon of prayer will conquer you. That person that is you are, you are, you are experiencing a terrible pain. The weapon of prayer will touch you where you are now. The healing power of the Lord will come upon you this night. And this night is a, it's a time to pray. Remember I told us, a time of challenge is a time to pray. A time of storm is a time to pray. A time of sorrow is a time to pray. A time of sickness is a time to pray. A time when you are not living your life to the fullest. It's a time to pray. A time when the enemy are dictating your life. It's a time to pray. And this night we are going to dethrone every enemy through the weapon of prayer. It's a formidable weapon. It's a powerful weapon. It has never failed. It can never fail. It's a weapon that turns around every unfavorable situation in the life of man. And that was what I used many years ago. I always share my testimony. In fact, life was so terrible for me. A time came. It appears as if the, the enemy was out to, to, to frustrate my life. And when I di discovered what the weapon of prayer can do, I began to use the weapon of prayer. I remember in one of my, our churches, I remember in one of our churches, I locked up myself for three solid days. And I told the person that locked up the church, I said, go with the key. 
I'm going to tarry in the place of prayer. I'm going to sort out myself in the place of prayer. And for three days, I never saw the sun. I was indoors in that particular church. And I was praying. I was praying. I was making use of the weapon of prayer. And before you know it, all the shackles of the enemy, all the darkness that was upon my life, all the darkness that the enemy released upon my life, all the, all the, all the frustrations, all the dreary days, all the dark days of my life, before you know it, everything was broken. And the Lord has given me the mandate to go and set men free. The Lord has given me the mandate, and that's why anywhere I go to minister, I steer up men to pray, because I know what the weapon of prayer can do. And that's why anywhere I have opportunity to minister, I tell people you can come out of that problem. I instigate people against the devil. And this night, the weapon of prayer will conquer the enemy. The weapon of prayer will bring down Goliath. The weapon of prayer will cause the walls of Jericho to collapse this night. The weapon of prayer will part your resi. Open your mouth and begin to praise the name of God. Open your mouth. Begin to praise God. It's a glorious night. It's a, it's a powerful night. It's a night of wonders. It's a night of mercy. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Thank him for what he's going to do this night. It's your night. Your night of release. It's your night, your night of freedom. It's your night, your night of healing. Worship him, worship him, worship him. It's a powerful night, yes. It's a night of prayer, yes. It's a night of deliverance. It's a night of possessing your possession. Worship him, worship him. Anywhere you are watching us, worship him. Glorious God, mighty God, wonderful God. The all-powerful God, the formidable God, the God that can never fail, the God that never disappoints, the one that turns night to day, the one that turns the night to day, worship Him, worship Him. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Worship Him. What a powerful night. What a glorious night. What a night of power. What a night of freedom. What a night of mercy. What a night of release. Worship him. Worship him. He is a powerful God. He is the ancient of days. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him for what he will do tonight. Worship him because he will overthrow the enemy tonight. Worship him because he will break yokes tonight. Worship him because he will heal you this night. Worship him. Worship him. You are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord, you are wonderful, Lord, you are worthy, oh Lord, you are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord, you are wonderful, Lord, you are worthy. It's your night of release. It's your night of possessing your possessions. It's a night. It's 
It's a night that your situation will change. It's a night that the Lord will visit you. It's a night of your healing. It's a night of your deliverance. It's a night when the enemy will be defeated in your life. It's a night when every darkness will turn to day. Worship him this night. A powerful God. Worship him this night. Worship him this night. Worship him this night. Worship him. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. He will break every yoke. He will break every yoke. Worship him. Worship him. And the, and, and the personality told, told uh, Jacob, let me go for the day breaking. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Oh God, I will not let you go except you change my situation. Remember the weapon of prayer. It's a formidable weapon. It's a, it's a dependable weapon. It's a powerful weapon. It's a weapon that changes situation. Jacob said, I will not let you go except that bless me. What is your life challenge? What is that, what is that problem in your life? What is that situation that the enemy has caused for you? Open your mouth and begin to make use of the weapon of prayer. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jacob changed his situation through prayer. Jacob turned around things in his life through prayer. Jacob defeated the enemy through the weapon of prayer. It's your own night this night. It's your own time this day. Jacob was able to overcome through the weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer. Make use of that weapon this night. The weapon of prayer will heal you. The weapon of prayer will deliver you. The weapon of prayer will put to flight the armies of the aliens in your life. The weapon of prayer will part the rescue for you. The weapon of prayer will bring the mighty Goliath flat in your life. Alleluia. What a powerful night. Make use of the weapon of prayer. Jacob said, I will not let you go except you bless me. No wonder his situation changed. No wonder his sickness changed. No wonder he was delivered. No wonder he was healed. You tell God, oh God, I will not let you go except you bless me. The hour of solution. The hour of solution. The hour of solution. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Anywhere you are watching us, anywhere you are viewing us, in Nigeria, in South Africa, in America, in Canada, anywhere you are watching this live program, it's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Don't just sit down there and accept defeat. Don't just stay there and feel it's over. No. You make use of the weapon of prayer. You make use of the weapon of prayer. Through the weapon of prayer, Goliath will come down. Are you sick? Use the weapon of prayer. Are you under captivity? Use the weapon of prayer. Are you oppressed? Are you oppressed? Are you oppressed? Are you oppressed? Then use the weapon of prayer. Is that trouble anywhere in your life? It's time to pray. Are you sick? It's time to pray. Are you oppressed? It's time to pray. Are you under captivity? It's time to pray. Do you need a healing? It's time to pray. The weapon of prayer is your secret. The weapon of prayer is your secret. Remember this night? This night we are praying on the weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer is a formidable weapon. The weapon of prayer will open every closed door. The weapon of prayer will open who open the prison door. The weapon of prayer will heal you. The weapon of prayer will break your yokes. The weapon of prayer will destroy every stronghold. Are you on? Are you experiencing the activities of the enemy in your life? Why not use the weapon of prayer? The weapon of prayer will destroy the wicked activities of the enemy against your life. Is the enemy ruling your life? Is the enemy dominating your life? During this hour of prayer, a prayer-based program, you you make use of the weapon of prayer. You make use of the weapon of prayer. You make use of the weapon of prayer. That person that is there and you are under a, a terrible demonic attack. Make use of the weapon of prayer. Pray. Pray. Jesus' name we pray. 
In Jesus' name we pray. From where we read our text, the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall no more be. And he said, Thy name no more Jacob. In Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Hallelujah. I refuse to be called a failure. I refuse to be called a sickler. I refuse to be called a barren woman. I refuse to be called a fruitless tree. And thy name shall no more be called Jacob, but Israel, an overcomer, a prevailer. That's what you are this night. That's what you are getting this night. You are overcoming your enemy this night. You are overcoming that sickness this night. That unfavorable medical report, you are overcoming it this night. And thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has that power with God, and with men and has prevailed. Hallelujah. This night you are going to pray, oh God, I am no longer a failure. I am no longer a failure. I am no longer a captive. I am no longer a captive. I am an overcomer. Make use of the weapon of prayer and enforce what the Lord has said concerning you. The Lord said you are prevailed. The Lord said you are delivered. The Lord said you are healed. Use the weapon of prayer and claim what God has said concerning you. Use the weapon of prayer. Claim what God has said concerning you. God said your name you will no longer be called a failure. The Lord said your name will no longer be called a sickler. The Lord will say you don't name will no longer be a failure. Somebody that doesn't that, that doesn't prosper, that doesn't overcome. The Lord said your name shall be called a prevailer. Use the weapon of prayer. Use the weapon of prayer and enforce what the Lord has said concerning you. That captivity is not what God has said concerning you. That servitude is not what God has said concerning you. Every servitude you destroy in this night. Everything that is, that, that, that is happening in your life, that is not what the Lord has said concerning you. You command them to catch fire this night, yes. The captivity catch fire this night. The barrenness catch fire this night. The sickness catch fire this night. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. The hour of solution. It's time to pray. The hour of solution. It's time to call upon God. It's a night of prayers. It's a night of prayers. When everything fails. When men fails. When medical science fails. When health professionals fails. The weapon of prayer cannot fail and will not fail. Pray this night. I change my situation. I change my situation. Jacob tarried at the place of prayer. Jacob persevered at the place of prayer. Are there people that are laying hold on God? Are there people that are laying hold on God? Are there people that are laying hold on God? And say, God, this night, my situation must change. Oh God, you change the situation of Jacob. Oh God, you change the circumstances of Jacob. Oh God, you heal Jacob. Oh God, you deliver Jacob from the hand of Esau. You deliver Jacob from the hand of the enemy. Oh God, this night, deliver me through the weapon of prayer. Pray. The hour of prayer is time to pray. It's a prayer-based program. I'm not a magician. I'm not a, a, a motivational speaker. I am a servant of God. With a mandate to release men. With a mandate to open the eyes of men to the weapon of prayer. To what God can do. To open the eyes of men that have the solution to every problem. You that is there, brother, Sunday, pray prayers. Break every yoke against your, against your family. Brother, Sunday that is watching me. I see, I see the hand of a terrible against your family. But this night, use the weapon of prayer. Dismantle the enemy through the weapon of prayer. Everybody, you dismantle the enemy from your life. Through the weapon of prayer. I told you I had to pray prayers for the Lord to deliver me. The enemy came against my life. The enemy remembered me. But I fought back. I fought back. I prayed prayers. 
And after delivering myself, the Lord has given me this ministry to go and redeem men, to go and deliver men. Pray this night. Break your yoke this night. It's a night of, uh, of deliverance. It's a night of power, a night of fire, a night of using the weapon of prayer. Pray. Everything else can fail. The weapon of prayer cannot fail. Everything else can fail. The weapon of prayer cannot, cannot fail. Pray this night. If they see seed over your family, then pray. Are you confused? Then pray. Are you sorrowful? Then pray. Are you under captivity? Then pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. The night of power, the night of glory, the night of the manifestation of the power of God. Pray. Call upon the Lord. The Lord is here. The Lord is moving everywhere. The power of God is moving everywhere. This is the hour of solution. It's a prayer-based program. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. When life seems dark and dreary, don't forget to pray. It's a night of prayer. Our eyes this night should not be on the thickness of the fog. Your eyes should not be on the enemy. Your night should not be on the doctor's report. Your night, your, your eyes should not be on your sickness. Your, your night, your eyes should not be on Goliath. Your eyes should be on the power of God. On God that controls every circumstances of your life. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Use your weapon of prayer. The weapon of, the weapon of prayer will turn your night to day. The weapon of prayer I shared with us. That my mentor, that my mentor, my, one of my spiritual fathers in the Lord, he was, he was faced with situation. He was faced with situation. Doctors told him, there's no way. Your son cannot survive. Your son is having a, a heart problem. But when he used the weapon of prayer, the weapon that can never fail. When everything else fails, the weapon of prayer can never fail. And when he deployed the weapon of prayer, when he deployed the weapon of prayer, the power of God was activated. The boy that they gave few days to die because the person that prays will always survive. The person that prays will always overcome. And during this hour of prayer, a prayer-based program, it's time to pray. Are you sick? The Lord will heal you. Are you a barren woman? Make use of the weapon of prayer.